hi welcome back to my channel it's the boss creations with another video today we're going to be working on decals the first decal we're going to do is my instagram decal on the back driver's side pa back seat passenger window we're going to put it right here so i'm going to do my disclaimer now from now i apologize for the camera angle shaking and all that good stuff because I am recording this on my own today. So, let's see if I can get you guys positioned in a way where I know you'll be able to see what I am doing. So, give me one moment and I'll be right back. Hi guys, to make this easier for me to be able to show you guys how to do this, I am going, I placed my first letter and a half down. On my thing okay first off we cleaned it off with alcohol we let it sit to dry we always have to make sure that our surface is always cleaned and dry before we add any decals to any surface car or anything so now what we're gonna do is we are going to slowly remove the backing and as we remove inch by inch we are going to just adhere stick and then rub okay and then we're gonna start again and as I am pulling the backing off I am pulling it taut against the window so I get the least amount of air bubbles as possible since I am doing this on my own city okay now we're at the end just gonna pull and before I release the whole paper now I'm not even sure if this is crooked or not but this is what it's gonna be today all right, now with the vinyl that I used was a silver. Well, as you can see, my car is silver, so this is a silver glittery permanent vinyl, and this is Cricut brand vinyl. Make sure everything is adhered down. Now we've got two more of that vinyl decals to do. This is my customization business, the Boss Creations. And now we're gonna remove. When you remove, it is best to always remove at an angle. It, it kinda makes it easier to remove and make sure that this, the letters are secured when pulling at an angle. And voila all right guys on how to put on the decals on your cars this one I'm gonna put this is a gas decal so this one is gonna go on my gas tank cover so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe it down with some alcohol I have alcohol on the napkin so just wipe it make sure it is all cleaned okay then okay I'm gonna apologize now because I am recording this by holding it with my hand so you guys got to give me a minute this is the decal that is gonna go on and I made it I kind of made it a little too big didn't I well we're gonna make it work okay so when you guys order it from me, it's going to come already set up to where all you would have to do is just peel the transfer sheet off. If we can do this. And the backing, like so. I'll pick that up in a minute. And then we're going to just place it on <sighs> I 
on, here we go. Let's see. I kind of made it a little too big, but we're gonna make this work. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it down, we're gonna put it on. Now I have a scraper tool. You guys don't necessarily have to use a scraper tool. You can use a, um, a credit card or what, but all I'm doing is just making sure it is varnished on make sure that it sticks good making sure there are no air bubbles in it and once you have varnished it all the way down all you're gonna do is grab the corner you are going to peel it off. Just like that. Now I can tell I have a few little air bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scraper tool and push them to the edge of the vinyl until it goes and it gets released now another way you can do that if it's too close to the middle you can take a piece of a, a needle or a pointy thing and pin a hole in it and just release it like that but that's how we have it and we're all right guys i'm back with the second one this one is called boss beauty unlimited this one is for my second business that i am starting this year now this one i already started it on this end but it looks like it's about to be crooked so i'm going to see if i can kind of fix that in the meantime of meanwhile of me putting it on without jacking it up too much because i do believe and i've already put these down so if i try to take they're not going to come up because they are down. So let's see what we can do. And I'm going to do this a little different. We're going to pull some off and then we're going to try and maneuver it in a way where I can probably put this a little straighter than what we were doing before. I'm sorry if you guys are at an angle that you can't really see too well. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand, you know. I know that Y right there is a little janky, but I will fix that in a minute. I just wanted the rest of this to come out as straight as possible. Okay, give me one second because it's not working right. Be right back. Sorry about that, but I'm back. As you can see, it kind of came mad in the curve, and I was trying to fix that curve. So we're going to try and see if that curve will be fixed. Now that Instagram logo looks like it's gonna be a tad bit crooked so we're not gonna stick that down yet we're gonna just kindly lift up this part without taking off the Instagram logo and just do that part okay that's how we're looking so far and now we're just gonna add the Instagram logo. Now we've added it, and now we're just going to varnish it down so everything stays. And now, I'm going to remove. And we're gonna remove. At an angle. Now I have used this transfer sheet a couple of times. I split it into a couple of pieces. So this is now garbage, but I've used it for all three of the vinyls that we put on the car. This was the same one that I've used. So make sure you guys say these are expensive. This is a Cricut brand too. But because I was using glitter vinyl, it's kind of 
better to use the Cricut Strong Grip or a Strong Grip Transfer Sheet. It picks up the, the glitter vinyl better than your regular Dollar Tree cupboard liners or whatever. But this is our finished product on this side. The curve now doesn't look too bad. You can tell it's crooked, but I ain't mad at it. All right, next clip, we're going to do the whole walkthrough of all three vinyls. All right, guys, this is our first decal that we put on the Boss Creations on the back passenger side window. This is the third one that we put on our thick Afro Puff Girl stretching the full up her tank. Yes. We love it. And then we are going to go to our third final. The one that's got a little hump in our back. <laughs> All right, guys. That is the video on how to apply your decals to your car. If you would like to see any other videos like these, please subscribe, like, and comment down in the comment section of how what kind of videos you would like me to do next um if you would like a tutorial on how to make your decals for your cars please also like put that in the comment down below and i will make sure i will get that video out to you on that note my bosses thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye